So when I was looking for wheelbarrows, I found them to be very expensive, like six, 60 pounds. And this one, I think, was 35, maybe 40 at the most. So I'll put a link to this on my blog. Because I know somebody else asked me in the last video, what type of wheelbarrow did I get? So I was a bit concerned about the depth of the barrow. And I thought, is that where... Oh, right. I have to be careful. It's, um, there's a grease coming off in my hand. Right. That's not as deep as I would l like it. But it's good for the next year or two. And then maybe I might progress up. But the thing is, you don't want something huge to take up a lot of space. Oh yeah, my hands are completely covered in like a bit of grease. What I'm going to do is, I'm actually going to put it together in the house because then I can use it to uh, take everything down to the homestead. Right, let me put that there then, seeing as it's going to be a messy task. See, with things like this, I prefer to be in the shop in order to see them. Okay, maybe we're finding out this is why it was so cheap. So if you are in the market, maybe wait until I've used this for a while. I do prefer a galvanized one to a plastic one. And I prefer a nice hard wheel as opposed to those ones that you have to keep pumping up all the time. Right, let's hope now this is a nice, simple task. Oh, they've put a screwdriver in. That's very good of them. Right, those are the handles. Oh. Those are the handles, right. Right, insert frame C into B. Okay, I don't want to do that. Insert bolts E. I think is those ones. This might take a while, folks. Nice little screwdriver though.
thing is it's not that big a plot. So this could be the perfect size, to be honest. if I had another pair of hands. is in. That's what I'm looking for. A little spanner to spanner it up. Oh, I do have those trolleys. I will hear you cry. Sometimes a wheelbarrow is a bit better. Just moving clods of compost from one end of the plot to, to the other. Mainly because it's only on the one wheel. Those trolleys I have, have got, it's the width of two wheels. And if you're going down the central path very quickly, in a one wheel device, it's a lot better. Right, okay, I won't do it too tight. Didn't realize my hands would get so covered in grease. Grease lightning. Come in very handy when it's done. It's just a bit of a faff get in there. Thank you. 
Right, let's put the arms on it now. I have found in my life that when you buy something really cheap, but sometimes it does last a bit longer than if you buy something really expensive. I always remember, I used to see somebody who used to buy really expensive trainers every Christmas and by Easter they'd be in bits. My trainers would only be about 20 pound and they'd last for years. So who knows, maybe this will be like that and I'll be still pushing this around in 10 years time. Right, which screw do I need for that? Where did I put them? Right, what's dropped? Okay. Ah, now this nut and bolt has got a screw end. But there's only one with a screw end. Oh no, there's two. So is that the one I need to use? Ba -ba -da. I'm not sure. No, I think I've got a feeling the screw end ones might be for the wheel. If in doubt, make it up as you go along. That's what I say. That is what I say. And that is what I'm doing. Ah, right, hold on now. Let's not jump the gun now, lad. So that goes over there. That. Certainly going to have to have a good wash after this is finished. Maybe it's greasy because it's uh, stainless steel. Oh, at least that didn't fall on the floor. Oh, but that did. We'll get there in the end. Slow and steady wins the race. It's just I would normally put things into my mouth until I needed them. For the fact that all these are covered in grease, it's not an attractive thought.
There we go. I'll tighten everything up at the end. Just think of the hours of fun we'll have with this. And I do prefer all this old stuff, this galvanized product. I've got a galvanized watering can as well. It just feels more natural than plastics. It's like when you go to an old allotment site that somebody has tended for 50 years and you see the pieces of corrugated iron or the old wheelbarrow, which is now rusted and falling apart. They, t they tell a story. What story are you gonna get when you go and look at somebody's garden in 50 years? And it's just full of plastics. No character to them whatsoever. Now, am I missing one? No, because I've got it in my pocket. All right, make sure the handles are facing the right way. Well, the fishman didn't call. I think he forgot. Because when he called the last time, I said, right, call on a regular basis. And he said, oh, next week and the week after, we're going away on, on a holiday. So I think I might have joined his round at the wrong time of year. He was obviously forgotten to call in but anyway I've tried to support so I'll just go back to the weight draws now because I quite like those frozen salmon steaks that I had the other week and at least with it being frozen then you're not obliged to have fish when the van turns up you know if the van comes every Tuesday you'll end up having fish on a Tuesday And then you'll end up having it just because it's a Tuesday, not because you want it. So he hasn't called, so that's fine. I do still have one of those Waitrose steaks left. Maybe that is what I will have for my tea tonight. Right, these bolts are square. You just have to make sure they are tightly in. My hands are going black as coal. Right. Now I've got two screws here. And I'm thinking maybe they go in these ones. See, this is what I do. Make it up as I go along and it usually works out just fine.
Oh, that doesn't fit. But it's tight enough. I'm trying not to touch my face. Otherwise that will be full of grease. I haven't had any breakfast yet. I feel my stomach starting to rumble now. And then, if the weather stays fine, I'll start taking down to the homestead the first of these. In fact, yes, I will take them down today because that potting grit is extremely heavy. Right, now where's that wheel gone? Right, there's a bit of plastic there, but is that from my deodorant box the other week? <laughs> no, the important part here. One of the reasons why I went for this was because of the price, the fact that it was a hard tire, and the fact that it was simply green. <laughs> Now, if I've done everything correct, this should just fit in. And, oh, yeah, it's a bit tight. There you go, bring it around to me so I'm not stretching. Th these tires, these hard, hardened tires are a lot better because they sort of bounce over the ground rather than those on the rusty allotment site we had the tr traditional tyres and in the end we had about 12 barrows where all the tyres were flat I can't rem remember now why we never got around to just pumping them up or maybe there was a flat tyre or something and in the end we went to great expense and bought these hard tyres and we never had an issue with them from that day forth. These are a lot easier in snow if you're transporting stuff to your allotment. In the snow they're a lot easier. Right, tightened up my nuts. Ah, right, that one doesn't fit. Okay, what I'm, oh, it's that side, isn't it? I think I'll get my tool kit out to tighten them all up. But there we have it. That is my wheelbarrow and I will leave it out in the rain. I know some people would say put it in the shed but if it's out in the rain then maybe you'll get rid of some of this grease that's all, all, all over it. Look at that, that feels like a good barra. And now that I'm looking at it I quite like that depth. Yes, that'll do me. That'll do me good for many a year. What will do me good now is a good cup of tea. Whoa. Put all the heavy stuff down the front there so that you're not having it all on your arms at the top. Put that compost in. 
Shove those pots to, to go down as well. And also all the daffodil bobs. Well, I'm exhausted after that. There you go, look at that. Beautiful. Right, let's have a cup of tea. But first of all, let's wash this grease off my hands. Grease lightning. I wanna go grease lightning, you're burning up the bottom of my grease lightning, go grease lightning. 